they are absolutely stunned to learn that they are being evicted from Frogmore Cottage. You know, Frogmore Cottage being funded by the taxpayers. That was where they alleged they were originally living when they were, well, still royals. And they are still royals. They haven't been stripped of their titles. But obviously, they fled to America because UK is a horrible, racist country. And you'll recall that they complained about how small Frogmore Cottage was. And that was when there was just two of them before they had children. Now they have two children. And they just can't believe that Harry's father, King Charles, is going to remove Frogmore Cottage from them. So they decided that they were going to be evicted. They're making them leave. They're instead going to give Frogmore Cottage to Harry's uncle, Prince Andrew. And that makes sense because Prince Andrew is still a royal. And he is, no matter what you think about him, it would it would make sense that they're going to give it to somebody who is at least pretending that they like the United Kingdom. Right? I don't think Prince Andrew is a good guy but I certainly don't think Prince Harry and Meghan living in California in Montecito should also have the option to have a cottage that they think is too small, remember? So the Sussexes have a very friendly reporter. His name is Omid Scoby. He always has a scoop. Obviously, they're talking to him perpetually about how they feel about certain things. And he essentially, essentially told them, according to him, he says, it all feels very final and like a cruel punishment. It's like the family want to cut them out of the picture for good. Harry and Meghan have until early summer to vacate. Initially, they were given just weeks, but now they have at least until after the coronation. They feel that that's final. <laughs> they're, they're shocked by this. They're shocked that they're basically saying, no, obviously, we shouldn't just let you have this cottage. Is this what shocks them? Do they understand? Are they this delusional? You really have to pause and ask yourself whether or not Harry and Meghan are this delusional, whether or not they really thought that they could do an entire tour talking about how much they hate their family, how racist and backward the royal family is, how racist and backward the whole of the United Kingdom is, um, how happy they are in California, how they never want to come back, how California and living amongst their A-list pals is where they want to be, how happy, 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 happy they are. But he loves his brother. Don't forget, he loved, I love my family. I love my brother. I'm just literally going to make millions of dollars trashing them and also trashing my little niece because she was a three-year-old, didn't like a dress. And they still thought that somebody should just hold a candle for them in, in the form of a cottage at Frogmore. You, you can't make this stuff up. You can't, even, you can't even understand what's going on in their minds right now. You just have to assume that they are fully delusional. And has raised questions about Megan's true intentions in taking the photos. In light of these developments, an editor of U.S. Weekly magazine named Scale and Lester has come forward with information about Megan's past. According to Lester, Megan used to be a source for the magazine. Boom. Drop the mic and the show. Pack it up. Let's go. Bro, why do you think these people, Harry and Megan, would always say the royal family is leaking stories. Uh, uh, Prince William is leaking stories because that's what you were doing, bro. Megan, right here, you are doing it. You're the one that leaks the stories. You're the narcissist, bro. What is this? She allegedly became an insider who would sneak pictures of royal members and sell them to the press for a substantial amount of money, reportedly at least a million dollars. <laughs> guys i can't thank you enough for watching and for being here it really means the world to me i really appreciate it uh i have lots more videos coming out so check back lots if you want to further support the show i do have merch available recollections may vary make it make sense you know all that stuff 
Also, we have Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recast, where you can become an executive producer and get a shout out in a video very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.